Hey Gearheads, this is Jeff with episode two of Show Us Your Humvee. Hey guys, Trey with Ghost Tactical, and you're watching the greatest single review platform on the interwebs, Gear Report. Is that right? Gear Report? In this brand new series of videos, we're going to show the world what you are driving. All you need to do is send me a picture or a link to download a video of your Humvee out doing whatever it is you do in your Humvee. And I'll put it here on Show Us Your Humvee. Let's go across the pond to the countryside near Hesleholm, Sweden, just one and a half hours drive from Denmark. Here we see Ziggy the cockapoo. Ziggy owns both this 1990 M1025 Humvee and Tobias, who drives the Humvee for him. Most people call him Toby or Toby Tank as he used to have a Sabre light tracked tank, but he sold it to buy the Humvee that he can ride in more often. The scenery around Sweden doesn't look that different than what's around here report headquarters in rural North Carolina. Toby Tank uses his Humvee like a summer car, driving it more or less every other day when it's warm, even though diesel is really expensive in Sweden. But as winter's here and they salt the road so heavily, he keeps it in the barn for winter sleep until early spring. Toby brought the Humvee over from California a year ago. It was a real pain to get it road legal. He also has a, and, and I'm going to butcher this, Kubelwagen 1943 and some other shit. That's his words, not mine. Back to the Humvee. We can see a number of parts that can be challenging to find here in the U.S., like the functional turret assembly, supplemental armor doors, 24-bolt wheels, and a spare tire carrier. I'm curious why there's an alien head on the back of the Humvee. Ideas? Anyone? Thanks for the pictures and video, Toby. That looks like a really well cared for M1025 representing the military vehicle community over in Sweden. Next, we head to St. Louis, Missouri, back in the USA, where Mark operates this beautiful Humvee as a custom hearse for transporting the remains of veterans. You can see that considerable effort went into creating a dignified way to protect the precious cargo from the elements while giving a respectful military send-off to departed service members. I was unable to get clarification from Mark on how they added windows to the sponsons and modified the Humvee for hearse duty. Uh, if you know how it was done, please leave a comment. If you'd like your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, it's pretty simple. Send some landscape-oriented pictures or a link where I can download some video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee. Please, video, landscape format, we're adults, not millennials. When I get that video, I'm going to work through in the order that I receive them. So if you'd like to be featured sooner, send it in more quickly. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.